Watch your mind. Coming up on Cardiff Live, it's GCSE Results Day. How well did you do, Cardiff? English, I got a B and a C and an A in my art. And then a in French as well. And having just returned from the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, we catch up with Cardiff comedy legend Ignacio Lopez. But first, your Cardiff local headlines. GCSE performance across Wales has improved on last year with 62.8% of pupils getting a star to C grades. The results show the number of pupils receiving good GCSE grades rising from 1.2 percentage points compared with 2018. It means results are the same level as 2017 but are still one of the lowest performances of the last 10 years. This year marks the end of a process that has seen 29 new GCSE qualifications introduced since 2015 which include Welsh as a second language. Next, will you be jetting away this weekend? And if so, will it be from the capital's airport? If so, you're not the only ones as Cardiff Airport is preparing to welcome over 27,000 passengers this bank holiday weekend. Rounding off what has been the busiest summer since Welsh Government took ownership in May 2013, the airport has advised that passengers allow extra time to travel to the airport as roads will be busy with bank holiday traffic. And finally, Christian groups in Cardiff are coming together to host a Eucharist service for LGBT plus people at Pride Cymru on Saturday. The Eucharist service is organised by clergy and other volunteers from across the Diocese of Llandaff and by The Gathering, an LGBT plus worship group who meet at City United Reformed Church in Cardiff. The Faith Tent is also hosting a series of events for all ages, including family, arts and craft sessions and an LGBT plus interfaith panel. Great stuff there. I'm Luke Davis and those are your local headlines for Cardiff.